Hey there! Welcome back to the Finance Professor channel. My name is BB, and today we're going to be talking about personal finance. But before we delve deeper into the subject, let me share a story with you. Once upon a time, Jack graduated college and landed his dream job. But without proper financial education and a mountain of credit card debt, he soon realized that his dream job was more like a nightmare. He knew he had to take control before it was too late. Based on sound advice from mentors, he created a budget, saved for the future, invested wisely, educated himself, and sought additional expert advice. And with time, his financial situation improved dramatically. He became debt-free, a homeowner, and had a solid retirement plan. Jack's story is a powerful reminder that it's never too late to take control of your finances and secure your future. As you can see, with the right tools and mindset, anyone can achieve financial freedom. And that's exactly what we'll be discussing in today's video. So let's dive in and learn how to take control of our finances and secure our financial future. Now, while strategies like couponing and using credit card miles to travel for free can help save money in the short term, a more comprehensive approach is needed to achieve long-term financial freedom. So let's examine 10 important areas of personal finance, budgeting, saving, debt, taxes, insurance, and retirement, and talk about a helpful idea for each. First, when making a financial plan, priority should be given to the most expensive products. You might have heard that if you just forego your morning cappuccino, you'll become a billionaire. But in reality, you can probably save more money by reducing your spending on things like housing and transportation. Kelly Blue Book estimates that the average price of a new car in 2019 will be around $37,000. So instead of spending $1,200 on a year's worth of lattes, you might save over $10,000 by purchasing the identical automobile used. Second, when planning a saving strategy, be as detailed as possible. It's easy to make a resolution like, I'm going to save $6,000 for retirement this year. But it's more difficult to actually put a plan in place to achieve that goal. If you'd want to save $6,000 this year, breaking it down into smaller, more manageable objectives can be helpful. For example, if you want to save $500 this month, you could do so by raising your income by $50 or decreasing your costs by $115 per week. By doing this, you can evaluate the feasibility of your objective and track your progress with the aid of these checkpoints. Third, stay away from high interest loans and debt for things that may soon depreciate in value. You may have heard that you should avoid debt at all costs, but this isn't always the case. It's best to stay away from revolving charges like credit card debt that have interest rates above 5%. If you can help it, avoid taking out loans to purchase luxury items like boats, RVs, jewels, and the like, as their value is likely to depreciate rapidly. On the other hand, there are situations where it makes good sense to take out a loan. Debt incurred to further one's education or launch a business, for instance, is often seen favorably because it has the potential to increase one's future earnings. In some cases, taking on debt to purchase a home that could increase in value at a low interest rate could be a wise investment. Fourth, if you want to improve your credit score, you should only take on debt that you know you can comfortably repay. The use of a credit card provided that the balance is paid in whole each month can assist boost credit scores by demonstrating to lenders that the user can handle debt responsibly. However, your credit score will only benefit from healthy debt if you constantly make your payments on time. Fifth, maximize your after-tax income. This doesn't imply you should earn less, but rather that you should look into legal measures of lowering your taxable income. You can achieve this in a number of ways, one of which is to get compensation in a tax-free form. Many companies provide perks like tax-free savings accounts or reimbursements for medical and dental expenses, tuition and transportation costs, and child care. Contributing to a standard individual retirement account or IRA or a 401k is another approach to potentially lower your tax liability by deferring 
or postponing the payment of that liability until later. Sixth, don't buy insurance to cover costs you can pay for yourself. Auto, homeowners, and renters insurance, as well as life insurance, are all options to consider, depending on your unique set of circumstances. Furthermore, everyone should have health coverage. More than 6 out of 10 personal bankruptcies are caused by medical expenses, according to a study by Harvard University. Seventh, create a budget and stick to it. A budget is a plan for how you will spend your money. It helps you keep track of your expenses, set financial goals, and make sure you're not overspending. You can create a budget by listing all of your income and expenses and comparing them to see where you can cut back. Use budgeting apps or tools to make it easy to track your expenses and stick to your budget. Eighth, consider different types of savings accounts. Different types of savings accounts offer different levels of accessibility, interest rates, and risk. For example, a high-yield savings account may offer a higher interest rate but may also require a minimum balance. A certificate of deposit or CD may offer a higher interest rate but may also have penalties for early withdrawal. Consider your financial goals and risk tolerance when choosing a savings account. Ninth, Understand the risks and rewards of different investment options. Investing your money can help it grow faster than it would in a savings account. But it's important to understand that investments come with risks. Be sure to do your research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investments. 10th, Continuously educate and stay informed about personal finance to make informed decisions. Personal finance is a constantly changing field, and new information and strategies are always emerging. Stay up to date on the latest financial news and trends and be sure to consult with a financial advisor when needed. In conclusion, personal finance is a complex and multifaceted subject, and there's always more to learn. However, by focusing on budgeting, saving, debt, taxes, insurance, and retirement, you can take control of your finances and achieve long-term financial stability. Remember to implement these principles for long-term financial stability. Also, remember to stay informed and continuously educate yourself about personal finance. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching!